In this lab, we're going to look at basic diffraction using some really common diffraction gratings and three different colors of laser light. Here we have three different uh, diffraction gratings that you can easily find. A compact disc, a DVD, and a Blu-ray disc. And uh, these were chosen because they're almost everywhere. It's very easy to find them. And diffraction gratings are actually precision elements that are extremely expensive and difficult to make. Um, so we wanted to do this lab as simply as possible. And we have three different color lasers. We have a red, a green, and a violet laser that we'll use and test the diffraction from each device. So we'll start with the red laser. And this took a while to set up, but once we have all three of our diffraction gratings in place, we can put a laser in the V-block and actually do a simple alignment where we align the laser beam such that it's reflecting back on itself in the first order and you notice the other diffracted orders coming off the uh, CD in this case. So here we have the zeroth order and then the plus and minus first order and if I move over to this side you can see a second order uh, from that CD light. And what we've done is we've put a ruler uh, attached to our V-block and this ruler is of course calibrated with gradation so we can actually measure the distance between the V-block and the diffraction grating or the CD and we can measure the distance between the laser and the diffracted orders in order to do things like calculate the wavelength of the laser or calculate the spacing of the grooves in the CD that's known as the track pitch. So here's the diffraction from the, green, uh, the red laser at about 635 nanometers. Here's a green laser at 532 laser and you'll notice the diffracted orders once this is aligned, are much more closely spaced than the red laser because the green is a different wavelength. And here's an even different uh, color, a shorter wavelength. This is a violet laser. The violet's a little more difficult to see with the lights on, so we'll turn the lights off. And you can actually see the violet fluorescing uh, this business card blue here, and I'll align my zeroth order so it goes right back onto the laser itself so that the diffracted orders are equally spaced and with the shorter wavelength you actually see more orders diffracted. Not only do you have the zeroth order there on the left side of the card but the first order, the second order and then also a third order diffracting off of that CD. So now we can try different media and we can look at how the different media diffract the light. So let's put our red laser back on the V-block and look at the zero first and second diffracted order and then we'll move over to the DVD and because the DVD operates with a longer wavelength, I'm sorry, a shorter wavelength light the diffraction uh, of this DVD actually goes to larger angles. So once I get the zeroth order lined up you can actually see that the diffracted order the first diffracted order is way over here a longer distance uh, away than it was for the CD for the red light and you can see the minus one order and the plus one order for the red light and if we do this for the green light you'll see that it's actually pulled in significantly we have the zero order lined up and then the minus one and the plus one order of the green light and also the violet light with the DVD will actually have a minus one order and a plus one order. We don't see any higher orders with the violet light on the DVD like we did on the CD. An interesting thing happens when we go to the Blu-ray disc. If we actually put the red laser on the Blu-ray disc, and again every time you move this you will have to measure the distance between the screen, which is your ruler in this case, and the uh, uh, optical media itself. But with the Blu-ray disc, you can see the zeroth order is lined up. This is the return beam that's reflecting off the Blu-ray disc surface, but we see no diffracted orders on either side. The Blu-ray disc spacing, the track pitch on the Blu-ray disc, is actually so tight that the diffraction it goes to such large angles that um, there is no uh, effective diffraction. If we use the green laser, we can actually see the same effect where we have no diffraction coming off the Blu-ray disc for the green laser. And if we use the violet laser, we can also look for diffraction there. And we don't see any coming off when the lasers are at normal incidence. 
And in your lab experiment, you can try moving it to larger angles of incidence to see if you see uh, diffracted orders coming off for other angles of incidence. Um, or you can try other wavelengths that you might have uh, in order to test the grading spacing and measure the laser wavelength.